Today I'm going to be showing you how to make clear gesso at home using simple ingredients you probably already have. No need to buy any expensive stuff. Clear gesso lets a surface show through in your painting. It's good if you want the original surface to be part of your artwork or if you want to add paint without changing how it looks too much. The first ingredient we're going to use is the clear Elmer's glue. This is just school glue. You can also use the regular PVA glue. It works the same, but it has a little bit of a tint to it. I like using the clear. We're using one quarter of a cup of that school glue. Now we're gonna add one eighth of a cup of warm water. Gesso is like a primer for your artwork. It goes on a surface before painting to make sure that it's smooth and ready to paint. Artists use it on different painted things like canvas, paper, or wood. Now we're going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. We're gonna incorporate that into the water and glue mixture, and then we're gonna stir it really well. We wanna make sure that there's no lumps in this gesso. I've seen people use baking soda, but I find it leaves a grainy texture, and I've also seen people use talcum powder or baby powder, and that works pretty good, but I prefer the cornstarch out of those three options. You could also use calcium carbonate, but I'm trying to make this recipe really simple, and a lot of people don't have that in their stash. Just a disclaimer, if you're creating commissioned artwork or selling your pieces, this recipe might not be the best choice. Investing in quality store-bought gesso ensures your project is properly sealed. However, this DIY option is perfect for personal projects or homemade gifts for friends and family. This is a piece of watercolor paper and I'm gonna show you how it goes on nice and smooth and it dries completely clear. If you're looking for a colored gesso, I have a full tutorial on that. I'll put the link down below in the description and you can check that out after you watch this. As you can see, when you apply this clear gesso and it dries, you can still see the color underneath the paper. That's the benefit of using clear gesso. It allows the underlying color to show through in your finished project. Unlike the colored gesso, which would not be transparent and would cover up what's underneath. Without using gesso on some projects, the paint might not adhere well to that surface, leading it to flaking, cracking, or even uneven coverage. That's why the gesso is so important in a lot of DIY projects. Now I'm applying it to a piece of scrapbooking paper, and as you can see, it's transparent. You can see the pattern underneath, and it prepares the surface for anything you'd like to add on top, making it adhere better. It's perfect to add to your canvases or a piece of wood, anything that you want to create or paint on top of. It's a fantastic base. I love that it's a cheap alternative rather than spending a whole bunch of money on store-bought gesso. I also love that the homemade gesso allows for customization, such as adjusting the thickness or adding additional ingredients for texture. I also love that making your own gesso reduces waste by repurposing household items and eliminating the need for purchasing new products, making it an eco-friendly option. So there you have it, a simple recipe to make homemade clear gesso using ingredients you probably already have at home. It's an easy, cost-effective solution for priming your surfaces before painting. If you keep it in an airtight container, it'll stay for weeks in a nice, cool, dry area. I also made my own DIY label using packing tape to clearly label the glass jar so I know what's inside. It's a great DIY if you haven't tried that. I'll put the link to that video down below in the description. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you're gonna love either of these next two.